Let's look now at how we can apply the concepts of multivariable optimization um, to some different business concepts. First, we'll take a look at optimizing some functions, and then in the second section, look at optimizing functions given some constraint function. So in example one, we have a one product company finds that its profit P in millions is given by the following equ equation, where A is the amount spent on advertising in millions, in millions of dollars, and P is the price charged per item of the product. We want to find the maximum value of P and the values of A and P at which it's attained. So what we want to do for this problem is maximize this given function 2AP plus 240P minus 25P squared minus 1 tenth A squared P minus 80 for A and P. So we're giving it, we're plugging in that function and then we're telling Wolfram Alpha, Wolfram Alpha what those two independent variables are. So in this case, we get a local maximum when A is 10, P is 5, and that maximized function value is 545. So now what we need to do is just translate this into an interpretation for the problem, keeping in mind that our profit, P, is in millions of dollars. So that means our maximum profit of 545 is actually 545 million. So a maximum profit of 545 million is obtained when $10 million, since that value is also in millions, is spent on advertising, and the company charges, in this case, P is just the price charged, so the 5 is just $5. So a maximum profit of 545 million when $10 million is spent on advertising, and the company charges $5 per item of that product. In example two, we suppose the labor costs in dollars for manufacturing a camera can be approximated by this given function, where x is the number of hours required by a skilled craftsperson, craftsperson y is the number of hours required by a semi-skilled person. So we have people of two different skill levels, which would mean different amounts of pay. We want to find the values of x and y that minimize the labor cost and find that minimum labor cost. So in this case, we're looking to minimize 3 halves x squared plus y squared minus 7x minus 2y minus 2xy plus 96 for x and y. So in this case, this comes out <clears throat> as a maximized, fu maximized function value of 109 over 2. So we can change that to an approximate form to get our values of x equals 9, y equals 10, and our maximized function value of 54.5. So what this means is a minimum labor cost of $54.50 per camera will be obtained when a skilled craftsperson works for x equals 9 hours, and a semi-skilled craftsperson works for y equals 10 hours. In example three, we have a company that produces two types of solar panels, x thousand of type A, y thousand of type B. The revenue and cost equations in millions of dollars for the year are given. We want to determine how many of each type of solar panel should be produced to maximize profit. So the first thing we need to do in this case is generate that profit function, p of x, y, which again always just comes down to revenue minus cost. So this will be 3x plus 4y minus, and we either need to distribute the negative or write this in parentheses, x squared minus 3xy plus 9y squared. plus 12x minus 104y minus 9. So we have our revenue 
minus our cost function. And we want to look at now maximizing that function or maximizing the profit. So we want to maximize that function we just came up with. So we want to maximize this profit function for x and y. And we get a result of 360 when x is 6 and y is 7. But again, that profit function is in millions of dollars. So that 360 means we're generating a profit of 360 million by selling X number of solar panels of type A, which is in thousands. So that six becomes 6,000 solar panels of type A and 7,000 solar panels of type B.